I'm I'm doing the um, drawing exercises for the parabola uh, from Book of Curves by Lockwood. Um, uh, number four is to draw a circle cutting a parabola in four points and verify that the chords joining them in pairs are equally aligned to the axis. So in GX Web, we don't have the ability to um, do intersections. Um, so I'm going to have to work around this, the intersections between a, a curve and a um, a circle. Um, so I'm going to have to work around this and we'll see how. So first let's uh, let's create our parabola. Um, this I'm going to use y equals x squared um, on this occasion. So, uh, so let's just draw um, a function here and we'll just make it x squared. Uh, so there we have our parabola. Let me uh, zoom in on it to get a sort of a, a reasonable picture of it. Now I'm going to take three points on the parabola. As we do that, we get uh, this is point uh, parametric location T, parametric location S, parametric location T naught. Well, let me just make that U. The parametric location of a function is just the uh, x coordinate. And so with the three points, I can create circumcircle to that. And um, let me just move T around so that we've got a clear um, uh, final um, intersection point. Uh, so I'm not going to put a, a, a fourth point on the curve now. I, because I'm not allowed to do an intersection in GX Web, I'm going to have to work out what the appropriate value uh, here is. Uh, let's call that V, parametric location V. Now, what I want to do is make the distance from V to D the same as the radius of that circle. So let's see what we can uh, get here. So radius of... This of the circle as this. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Um, and the distance from the center uh, from D to E. Well, that looks pretty bad. Uh, what I want is for the, for one to equal the other, but they've both got square roots in them. I, um, I'd be more likely to get a nice answer if I uh, look at the squares of them. So let's look at the distance from D to E uh, squared and subtract um, the radius of C naught squared. Okay, so I've got something um, not too unreasonable there. However, it, it is uh, uh, as a polynomial, but it's, it's reasonably complicated. Um, and we ask ourselves how we really want to find the value of V um, for which this thing is zero. Um, well, one thing we could do is say to ourselves, we actually know three solutions to this. So if this is a polynomial equal to zero, it's bound to already have a solution at u, a solution at s, and a solution at t. Because clearly, if you make v equals u, then that radius is going to be the same as, uh, the distance from d is going to be the same as the radius of the circle. Also, if you make it the same as, um, if v is going to equals s, also if v equals t. So what if we took this quantity yeah, let's put it in parentheses and divided it 
my v minus t times uh, v minus s uh, times v minus u. Right, we reckon these are going to be solutions, so these ought to appear in um, in that expression. And there we see uh, this polynomial. If it factored it, um, would have been s plus t plus u plus v times these three factors. But we knew the three factors, so dividing it out gives us the fourth factor. So the key thing is that s plus c plus u plus v has to be equal to zero uh, to give us the final solution there. Um, so v would have to be equal to minus s minus t minus u. So there we go. We, um, we now have that ensconced in the, the third um, solution, the fourth solution, so the fourth intersection. And now what we're asked is to show that the lines um, that join the opposite pairs have um, the same uh, angle to the axis, to the axis. Um, so if I ask for the angle in that line and the x-axis, well, let's know, let's do the y-axis, see. I get arctan of one over minus s minus t. If I do the angle to this line, oh, let me put that in there. Angle to this line, L1, and the y axis. I get minus arctan 1 over s plus t, but arctan is uh, symmetric, but the, uh, or anti-symmetric rather. Um, so arctan of 1 over s plus t is minus arctan of 1 over minus s minus t. So in other words, um, these are the same. Uh, and of course, they're the same because you see there's a minus s minus t, and then you're going to get, uh, you're going to be adding this plus this and the u um, gives you the s, the, the, the u disappears from the, uh, from the expression. So there we go. Uh, we've shown, and the same will be true of these two uh, other, other lines joining the opposite, the other sides, because again, uh, in this case, the t is going to disappear from the exp expression. You're only going to get the um, s and the u. Um, and so uh, again, they they have uh, that was a, a an additional line. Okay, so again they they'll have uh, uh, the same inclination to the axes. Um, 